Hello everyone. Welcome back to our StatPro tutorial series. In this video, we will see view options in StatPro. To go to the view toolbar, you have to go to view menu and these are the tools which are used to navigate through the model. Pressing the wheel button will start the panning of structure. The same can be found here in the view tools, pan. Pressing it and moving left or right will pan the model to the left and right, up and down will to the other ones. Scrolling the wheel button upward will zoom in, the same can be done through plus button. Scrolling the wheel button down will zoom out, the same can be done with minus button. At any point of time, if you want to see the whole structure, you have to click on display whole structure. This will display the whole structure to the current window. You can zoom at specific location to zoom window. To do that, press the zoom window, press and hold the left mouse button and window out the portion that you want to zoom in. This way you can zoom window. The next is let us if you have zoomed at a specific location and you want to zoom extend the current view option you have to press zoom extend what is the difference between zoom extend and display whole structure suppose we have selected q of the object and we have created a part view of that object we are zooming in at some location and we want to just zoom extend to this part only we have to press zoom extend if you have press display whole structure in, instead of zoom extend the whole structure will be thin then you can zoom by a factor of 2 3 that you want and the model will be zoomed in to that factor to, at any point of time if you want to go back to the last zoom that you have done just press zoom previous and this option will uh, op give you a magnifying glass in this case you will not have to zoom to window only you have to click and press left mouse button to see the specific part by a factor these are different views this is isometric view this is top view bottom view left side view front view right side view back side view you can directly do this by these views the whole structure is open but the view has been shown likewise when you see isometric the whole structure is being selected not the part of it remember the whole structure is getting the front view these are the rotation options and this button is rotation mode center of rotation as you can see a red circle with line is the center of rotation to change the center of rotation you have to press keep uh, control plus shift and select any new node to make it the center of rotation now the structure will rotate from that pole as you can see structure is rotating from that position you can see, rotate it through x-axis rotate it through y-axis and z-axis this way you can rotate the structure at any point of time you can change the orientation to orientation through dialog window also it can show you different options the same as being seen in the buttons you can directly apply to plan window front window side window and 3d and as you can see Elevation angles, rotation angles, then this. You can see perspective views also. Isometric and perspective are the two different views that you can see in the step. At any point of time, if you want to see the center of structure and make it as center of rotation, you can click over here. It shows you the center of structure, geometrical center of structure. This way you can find the center of structure. You can navigate through the model with different views and zoom option this option gives your current view to fit to window if you have done this 
and you have zoomed in out you want to fit in to the current window press this this will be same as zoom extra there is no more different in this you can at any point of time select any part of the structure and see that part only by selected view option you can create new view by selecting some of the options and press the new window it will ask you for two options whether you want to create the new view in the current window or you want to create a new window for the same let us create new window for the same as you can see there are two windows the first one is showing the whole structure the second one is showing the part that you have selected you can save that also you can select you press the selected objects only this is same as creating new view with in the current window only and in the view management you can save this view as part view this will be useful in this will be useful in watching the view and process of that or display any of the options of that part and go to that part easily just click on open view and your saved view will be seen open view and the saved view can be seen you can delete the saved view also detach view if you can see there will not be any new view only the whole stuff the view has been detached you can rename the view you can add different things to the view suppose you have this you have shared it to the one two three part and you want this as well to the part click on it add to view select one two three and press ok now when you open the one two three view you can see sorry the whole structure has been added you will have to do the otherwise let us try it again select this options the selected view and save this view to two three okay now let us go to here open this view sorry selected objects and add this to the view two three let us now see what happens to the two three view as you can see the view of this column has been added this way you can manage the view you can export the view to the picture or anything where you want to use that in report you can rename the view at any point of time old was 23 the new is part 2 or set prd something like that. so these are the view options and navigation tools that you can use in step pro to navigate through the model easily Thank you for watching this video if you have any query or comments regarding this video do share it with the comments do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the new videos of step thank you